We're in trouble, John. Mike's blood pressure has dropped into the mid-40s. His atrial blood pressure should be in the low teens. It's 35. I'm sorry, John. Without a new heart, he's not going to make it. OK. <laughs> Take mine. What? You heard me. Take my heart, and you put it in Mike. Oh, man, you done lost your damn mind. You can't be serious. You bet I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Oh, my God. Wow. Man, that means you'll be dead. And my son will live. John, you can't do this. It's the only way. No, you don't understand. Physically, you can't do this. Yes, I can. I kill myself. You open me up, you take my heart. It's perfect. Man, that's just crazy. No, no, we can't just remove your heart and put it into Michael's body. John, there are too many unknowns. Matching a donor and a recipient is extremely complicated. There are several critical tests that have to be taken. Like what? Cross matches for blood type, chest cavity measurements. If both blood tissues are not completely compatible... Come on, I know all about compatibility, no. okay? We've been tested up the wazoo. We're both B positive, our tissues match, his heart's three times the size of a normal heart, so mine will fit. You know damn well we're compatible. It's out of the question. Too risky. No. Doc, I'm telling you, he will make it. Can't do it, John. No. So what? So if I'm laying on the floor dead, you're not going to take my heart and put it in him to save his life? You'll let two people die instead of one because of a technicality? You know what? I think what John is trying to do is right. Me too. I think it's so brave. It's brave, but what do you think Mike would want? What about your wife? Mike's too young to know what's good for him. I'm his father. It's my job to protect him. Besides, Denise would do the same thing. John, look. I know what's happening to Mike is bad, man. Matter of fact, it's the worst. But killing yourself ain't gonna solve a damn thing. Sometimes you just gotta let go and let God. Just accept it, brother. Accept it? Accept what? Accept what? That Mike is going to die. No. No, I don't accept that. Ever. No, I reject that out of hand. I mean, look, he... All right, he's a patient to you, I understand, but if you... He's a good kid. I mean, he's... He, he, he loves bodybuilding. He's, he wants to be a bodybuilder. Can you believe that? And he, he's funny. He's, you'd like him. You'd like him, Doc, if you got to know him. I do like All him. All right, then. Then please, I'm just begging you. Step outside the room. I'd like to, John. I really would. But what you're asking crosses the line. It is completely... Unethical. So it, what? I'm, I'm not. I'm crossing the line. You're crossing the line. The whole damn system crossing the line. Who cares? Maybe you don't understand what I'm talking about. All right. I don't give a damn. My son's gonna live. Maybe you guys haven't figured that out by now. I'll do whatever I gotta do for him to live. So what are you gonna do? You gonna shoot me if I don't operate? No. I'm gonna kill myself. All right. Let's just see what happens. I mean, that's what this is all about, right? He needs a donor. Somebody's got to die in order for him to live. I'm his father. It's me. All right. All right? All right what? I'll do it if that's what you want. Are you serious? You're going to let him kill himself? Once he's dead, why not? You are the finest surgeon I have ever known. You cannot just throw your entire career, your, your life away from Not this for nothing, age. doctor, but if you do this, you're finished. You know that, right? What are they going to do? Sue me? Disbar me? Evict me from the country club? No, this is still a hospital. If there's a heart available, then we're not going to let it go to waste. Doctor, Mr. McGuire, let's get ready for surgery.